Warning, the video you're about to see is about his, it's about Vega 13 cooking. Nobody got injured, no chicken was murdered for this. And the blue bottle that says sake does not have sake. It literally has horchata. Just to make all of you viewers think that I'm drinking. Aggression as advised. Ah, what is up you guys? This is Vega Vega 13 with another video. Sorry I haven't made a video at all. As you can see, Sonic is right here. This is my bed. This is my boring room. And I have the keyblades up there. I have my clothes over here. I have my coins over there. I have my movies over there. And I have a lightsaber somewhere around here. Alright you guys, um, just letting you know, this is a... It's just a random dumb video. Because I have no material. Um, just to make it quick, I don't have the enough to buy the the giant gummy bears. I was thinking of making them myself, but I just got to buy the molds. But I have to make sure that they're the same amount and weight as the original gummy bears. Then to buy the, the spiciest chip, then the spiciest hot chocolate. But we're going to have to wait for that later on. And then we're going to do the sour candy challenge that's drinkable. Um, we'll probably do that one later on, but not right now. But for the moment, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's actually going to be a small little cooking tutorial because I'm that bored. And as you can see, this quarantine is killing everybody. It's literally killing everybody. They're going to so much depression. I have like six of my friends that are going through depression because they can't go outside. Even my friend Scott, not Scott Pilgrim. But Scott, he's he's a musician and he's also an inventor and some other stuff that he does. He goes sees his lady because he sacrifices himself. But I think he has strong antibodies, so who knows. As for me, I gotta go back and forth to my friend's houses and to my lady's house and then here and there and buying food and going to the grocery store. So right now I'm going to go to the grocery store because today we're going to make curry. And we're going to make it as simple as possible. For the, all of those that are beginners and don't know the recipes and rather copy the recipes from YouTube, shame on you. But then again, I kind of do the same thing. But I actually add more flavor to it. So if you guys want to know, so far I'm actually passing my classes. Everything's actually good. So far I have now two A's and two B's. And my english writing and my english reading they're somewhat okay so far the teacher is not that um adding us that much work but my teacher from friday oh god let's just say that some people have quit the class just because of her back talking and attitude and others just said like f this i'm out you know it's a shame it's really a shame because i'm not gonna give up the reason why I'm back in IBC is because I want to open my business. So I'm going to do my, what I can to get my business diploma. Then from there, I'm done. No more. I'm literally done. All right, you guys. So no further ado, let's go and uh, start. Who is this? Leon. Wrong game, boy. Wrong game. And wrong video. And this is my son. I It's my fault. He was playing um, Resident Evil 4. And to make things worse, my mom actually got him the jacket. And he has the hairstyle. And his cheap pistol gun. Let's see if we can find Ashley in the supermarket. Hopefully the Los Aluminados doesn't find us. And Los Ganados. Sounds good? So let's go to the store. Alright, bye. Ready? I'll see you guys very soon, and hopefully you enjoy this video. Uh, hopefully I don't make fun of myself. And before all of this, let me do something real quick. I'm going to clean the house because my mom's still at work. So I got to do this all quickly because she's been working. She's been pushing herself a little bit too much. So once I'm done, we'll do the rest of the video. Sounds good, you guys? Sounds good. E and for Cherry Boy, I hope you feel okay, man. 
This video is actually for you because you actually enjoy curry. You said it in one of your videos. So hey, cherry boy. My name is Vega, Vega13, and I'm subscribed to your videos. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're back, and yeah, my hair is like a big total mess, I know. Um, <laughs> I'm starting to get that hairdo from Razio from Soul Reaver for some reason. All right, you guys, I already got everything I needed to make the curry, and since this is my only video that I'm going to do this month, um, I do have some cooking recipes, but since I'm still a bit embarrassed of showing people how I cook my food, and there's a difference between um, organic vegetables and not organic even though everything's organic i just don't know why they make a big fuss about it but let's go take a look shall we all right so we have two pounds of chicken breasts they were on the warm water and i let them unfreeze four pieces of carrots i'm gonna have to cut that off uh, the biggest giant onion that you have you can either use white onion or purple onion some ginger potatoes and whoop, tomato paste, seaweed, garlic junior, and and no, you guys, not the garlic junior from Dragon Ball. And we have a little bit of cayenne from foodwishes.com with cayenne. That guy likes to use a lot of cayenne. And don't forget your curry mix with a little bit of chicken broth. I already. Wash the mushrooms, soak them in nice room temperature water. They're soaking up. And some green peas. Alright you guys, today our utensils and our cooking materials. We already got that. We're gonna do this one to cook the chicken. Then after that, I'm gonna add it in all in here in my new wok. And then once we're done, we're all gonna toss it in the pot. But first, let's start cutting up our vegetables, shall we? Alright you guys, since the vegetables are being washed and they're all clean now, I'm just letting them stay in nice clean water. I'm going to cut the whole entire onion. Right now I'm cutting the ginger and we're going to turn it into small little circles. Uh, so far that doesn't look like circles, I know. <laughs> the ginger was breaking into pieces so I have to cut it as small as I can. Once we're done with that, we're going to... Turn our wok into small little pot. Tiny! Oops, that disappeared. Tiny, there you go. And we're gonna add a little bit of oil. Just a little bit. There you go, I had to open it, sorry guys. So the wok is cleaned and washed. We're gonna add a little bit of oil. There you go, that's a little bit. That should be a little bit. Now that we're done adding the oil, let's put the oil away. And so we're gonna put the onions, the ginger, and the garlic mixed together until it's nice and golden brown. Now that the ginger and the, and the onions are chopped, we're going to put them in our wok. Like I said, we're going to leave it until they're nice golden brown. <laughs> I still think about the, the habit. I used to work at the habit. Nice, hot, golden brown, evenly salty. <sighs> then once, once those are golden brown, then we add the garlic junior. The moment since it's Sorry, for the moment that it's cooking, I'm going to start cutting the potatoes and the carrots. I know that's not enough carrots, so I'll do that in another out of the video to get at least maybe three more or two more. Hello. And I'm going to put them, hello pa, and then I'm going to put them in here so they can boil. Once they're done boiling, I'll put them in here. Okay, so you wash your hands, boy? Yes. Alright, you're going to help me. Since that's boiling, you're going to put this in here, since you're my sous chef. You, can, you wash your hands, right? Appropriately, soap and water. All right, right here. You're gonna use your hand 
put that here. Use your hand and put them slowly in here. Do not drop them. Just put them in slowly. Not one by one, no, but just with your hands. Go for it. While my son is doing that, this is starting to look good. Ah, you can even smell. You can even look at the textures. It starts to smell like top ramen. <laughs> so, yep. So pita pa. Since we already have the ginger, the onion, the garlic, it's starting to get nice and soft, but not caramelized yet. Once that turns, once the potatoes and the carrots get a little bit soft, I'm gonna add them in here and mix them together. And then from there, we're gonna. Okay, be careful. And from there, we're gonna put them in that pot. This wok is actually helping very good because it's actually made out of pure, pure iron. Now, we're gonna start dicing up our chicken breasts. But I'm gonna put them in there so they can start cooking. And I want them nice, hot, and golden brown. Whoa! Uh-uh! Don't drop them like that. Don't do that. Like I told you, you gotta do it like this. Grab, know, grab a small handful and just drop them in there. Well, don't, I don't want to get burned. Nope, not like that. Alrighty, guys. We'll wait up. What a wonderful little helper. Well, that's boiling. That's gonna be cooked pretty soon. This is starting to get caramelized, and the chicken's already inside the pot. Now, in this white and green box, I have sea salt. Sea salt has a different flavor than that type of salt, and it has a different texture. I would have used pink salt, but I don't have any more. Sadly, I ran out. So you're gonna see me adding one, two, three. Three pinches of sea salt. Now that we're putting that away, and I already cut the chicken and put that away, we're gonna put back the basket of onions. This is almost done in caramel eyes. Yes, I'm lefty and righty for cooking. <laughs> I guess I was blessed for that. Ah, look at that, it's almost caramelized. As for the chicken, it'll take time. And that was actually nothing but a chicken broth, so the potatoes and carrots will get a lot of flavor. Once this is a little bit softened, I'll add it here, mix it together with the peas and the mushrooms. My mom came up a few minutes ago and she started eating some of it. <laughs> That's why there's a spoon. And this, I don't eat this. She actually got some, but she didn't put it away. <laughs> Alright, let's keep on going. Alright, you guys. The potatoes are a bit soft since it's starting to sink in even more. The carrots, not there yet. So I'm gonna give this a few minutes. But now it's time to add our mushroom and peas. I already put the tomato paste. And since I didn't have to add water, all the fat, all the nutrients from the chicken turned into a nice, beautiful, well, blood soup. But that's the good thing, because it has a lot of flavor. Alright, now let's add our peas. <laughs> oh wow, they definitely soaked up. Look at that. And some people say don't throw that away because it, it has flavor, so yeah, bad me. I threw a little bit away. There you go. And now we're gonna mix. Look at that. That sounded wrong. I'm gonna boil this a little bit more. Well, that's gonna be boiling. This will be cooking just a bit more. Once it's done, I'll add everything all in the pot. <laughs> but we'll see you guys soon enough. So you can see that I add, well I already added the, this. Now we're gonna add the curry. We're almost done. We're almost done you guys. We're almost done. Alright, I already put <laughs> the vegetables. I'm gonna wash that, clean it, and I'm gonna add the rice. My boy's gonna help me on that part. We have the potatoes. And the carrots and it's all nice and boiling after that I'm gonna add this the garlic the ginger the onion the mushroom the green peas 
since I kind of cooked it, now it's already kind of, you can see the steam. Right. You can see the steam already. And this is starting to cook to perfection. And my mother is <laughs> literally asking. <laughs> my mom is already telling me, when is it ready? I'm hungry now. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'll see you on, in a bit. Alright my boy, you just break it. He already helped me with the rice and <laughs> turning it on. Alright, you got the curry. You see you see the little blocks? Yeah. Okay, turn it. You see the blocks? You're gonna break it in pieces and put it in here. Lip. Yep, break them again. Okay, now add them in here. I know, quickly, quickly. But don't let them drop. Get as close and then drop them like this. Watch. Like this. And then go slowly, okay? Like that. There you go. Again. Wait, is it slow? <laughs> yes. Don't worry, I'll mix it in a bit. That's yeah, you, you wanna try it? Without before it goes in the in the food? Um, take well, a take a bite of it. Just a tiny little piece, a tiny little piece. Right here. Yeah. There's it, a little tiny little What does it taste like? Okay then, no more. Now keep breaking it. I swear that looks like a candy bar. Mm -hmm. There you go. Keep breaking the rest of it. Alright, throw the rest of the yellow packets in the trash. Thank you and I'll call you once it's all ready. I don't know what it will taste good. Alrighty. But... Have fun. Yeah. Alright you guys. You saw that my boy was helping me. Time to mix. Time to mix it. So from a liquid, it's gonna be a bit thick. The paste is already starting to dissolve that quickly. Ah, you can smell it. Ah, it's starting to form. Oh, look at that. The, some of it already dissolved already. And it's some, on, some of it adds on the mushroom. Look at that. Just break that a little bit more. Break that a little bit more. If I had the enough to make some dough or buy the dough already, I would make curry buns. I did it before, but it didn't come out as I expected. It didn't break. It did cook more <laughs> so the meat was more chewy than soft and creamy oh you gotta hear that sound okay. alright you guys once the rice is done and this is done I'll show you my first dish and <laughs> let mother eat she's hungry she's starving <laughs> okay, buddy. our curry is done we're just waiting for the rice maybe 10 to 15 more minutes and I'm going to enjoy it a little walk. <laughs> and my station is clean. I just gotta put everything away. Why is that big gulp here? Alright, you guys. A long time ago, I went with my brother and we went to go eat at a nice, beautiful restaurant. So, yes, this is all I can show. I saved one. So, I'm gonna have one of these for me. So, kids, please understand that this is not for you. I do not want to be censored. But yes, this is actually a sparkling sake. Still unopened. And my god, I can't wait to drink this with my curry. Oh, hey guys. Hello, everybody. Now we're back. Well, I just opened it. And that's actually not real sake, you guys. That's actually rice water. That's all. <laughs> and yes, this is actually a painting kit. It was given to me from my first girlfriend, Angela Leva. Uh, sweetie, I still have it. Just to let you know that I... I still ask for you to forgive me. And I still have the koi fishes. <laughs> Fishy wishies. All these years and I still kept them. And your chopsticks. Alrighty guys, so now you saw that I have this. The curry looks delicious, doesn't it? Well, it tastes delicious. Is it delicious? And by the way, these are actually for family. She gave them to me too. 
And these are actually washable chopsticks. Oh my god, I almost forgot how to use these. What a shame. Ah, yes. Mmm. Like my little daughter would say, yummy, yummy. <laughs> I wish my daughter was right here to enjoy this. She loves chicken. Not a big fan of vegetables, but... Mmm. If you know what you're doing, and if you know how to cheat the kids, well, not really cheat, but when, they, when they're coming to become picky eaters, mash the vegetables and make it into a fruit juice blender. And like I said, you guys, this was an empty bottle of sake, but this is actually rice water. <laughs> ah. Alright, you guys, I hope you enjoy this cooking tutorial and this beautiful little table. I know traditionally I should be sitting out on the floor, but I don't have that table no more. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed and you copied my recipe. Hopefully, it comes out like this and maybe even better. Who knows? Just to let you guys all know, I'm not a chef, but I do know a lot of dishes. I studied by my grandmother, my aunt, and my mother. And a teacher that sadly passed away a few weeks ago. Ms. Von Flew, who taught me how to do the cookies and, and other stuff. So this video is for the teachers and friends and family members that helped me how to cook. And this curry is for all those people that are hungry. <laughs> so once again, this was Vega, Vega 13. And as always, enjoy your food. Do it with real love and drink responsibility. Sorry, and drink responsible. <laughs> and like I said, you guys, this is just rice water. <laughs> horchata. Or like someone I know. Horchata? Yes, horchata fudge up. You guys finish the rest. Oh my god, I really want to dig in. I'm, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Alright, that's what I like about the curry. It's so simple. Oh yes, and one more thing before I go. You can make beef, chicken, shrimp, even pork. And vegetarian cur curry is almost the same, just don't add any meat. Ah, maybe next time I'll show how to make curry bean buns. Or curry buns. Alright, you guys. Thank you for watching, and sorry that this was a cooking video. But I hope you like. Bye now.